point. Jones going to step in, try and pick his point. The deflection takes it the other way, so it's going to be kept alive by Harding. Bees get half a stick on the play, want to get a full stick and can't. At least they've broken up initially. 13 seconds of power play remaining as Norcliffe just loses off the end of his tape. Mog comes across, gets a stick on the play. Pets will now pick it up with five seconds to go on this power play. Harding will wind up looking for a tip. That's going to fall to a Bison man in there. Adam Goss with a great save initially, but the rebound falls to Alex Roberts and he buries it as the Bison return to full strength with seven and 54 to go in the first. It's the Bison to get the first goal of the night. That's so unfortunate. You'll see Adam Goss come up here with the initial save that is superb because you're going to see a Bison man. It just falls to him. He has to recorrect himself. He makes that first save, but the puck just bounces off the rebound comes across, Moore gets the play into Lindgren Lindgren's tap back isn't enough though and it should allow Ashley to take the way out but at least initially it wasn't, then Alex Roberts gets moving and he is going to be a beast on the coming forward here, big shot right through the five hole and I said that there's a potential chance next goal wins, it's one player who's in hot form at the moment, he scored a hat-trick in his last two games, he's got two tonight so far in this one, 14 and 40 the Bison into a two goal lead and it just, as I said, it's open. And out of nowhere, all of a sudden, Alex Roberts, it was a little bit of a poor play by Juha Lindgren, just not getting the play that he wanted. Jones stepped in, and then Roberts got moving. And you can see the Bees man trying to get moving. And that is just the fence battle. And now Galazzi comes away with it. Galazzi gets the feed into Webb. Webb works it across to Bradley. Bradley going to wait for goodbye. Goodbye will try and come around. Great stick work there by George, George, uh, George Norcliffe. Just very able to read. Dominic Gabay's pocket easily. Forward comes Dowdy. Dowdy with the shot! It's in off the post from the tightest of angles. My word, I've got the best view of it in the house here. It's really just off the bottom corner. He's picked his spot to perfection. And we said it was a critical period of the game for all the bees that were able to do and the chances they were able to create is the Bison who move into a three-goal lead. I hope the replay is going to pick this up. I hope the replay is going to show what a pinpoint finish this is because you're all of a sudden going to see Aidan Dowdy. We've got a bit of time and you'll just see him come up here. Oh, it's just, you couldn't have positioned that any better. Another inch to the left doesn't go in. So it, hit, it probably hits Adarvi's step, but it's on the backside rather than the forehand. Instead, across, let fly from Dubai, but that's up and over. Alex Metton just giving it a little wave to let him know what it's like. Comes back, Dubai will try and feed it to the man moving across. That is whipped into Adarvi stead. That was actually a broken play that works out well for the Bees. With 29 seconds of four on four to go. Nothing defensively the Bison could do. It just fell very neatly for the Bees. Five and 33 to go in the third. A little bit of life in this one. It was a broken play that actually helped the first time. Men just waved that one up into the corner. And then you'll just see the play. Like The Bison will feel they've got it out there. The Bees throw it on. It takes a little bit of a bounce. Great play there by Ryan Webb to pull Metton the other way.